All right, here's our wire harness that we just made. Um, I know you guys are probably, what, that was weird, the background's weird. Actually, I did this wire harness before I did this, so I will edit this, though, in the proper steps, though, so. Okay, now we're going to uh, plug it in, plug it in. Now, when you put this ground in it back in, I don't know, I kind of re straighten out this tab. Put it like that. There you go. Actually, I want to do something different here. See that? Okay. Cool. Now we're going to put it back together. All this stuff has to go back, you know, a certain way, and I clipped it without. Going back that certain way. Gotta pull it apart again. Frustration makes the custom build better, right, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah? No? I don't know. Maybe not. Did it again. <laughs> see now you guys can see what sometimes shops deal with. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure they deal with some installation frustrations as well. Okay. Get this thing. get this hose
I'm sure you you guys that do do deal with this fuel stuff all the time are looking at me like what a freaking amateur amateur hour and you're right I've only done this a couple times but there we go there's that in a pickle here. Let's put this. It's clipped in good. Careful not to lose this, ladies and gentlemen. Connect the wires. One thing I like about actually using the uh, the terminal ends is uh, you, know, you don't got to deal with butt connectors or anything like that. It's just one that's more clean. It's a more secure fit. And uh, this should be it. One of the last steps. This goes in there like that. Be careful with the arm itself. Retaining clip here for your wires. Wires, actually. I'll put these wires in first, the smaller ones. Let's keep that in. All right, cool. Okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is part one of the DW300C Dietzworks plug-in play, basically. Yeah, you could see how well that went, right? Um, fuel pump, in-tank fuel pump. Now, that's going to give you a little bit better flow. Um, this fuel pump is... Um, the Dietzwork fuel pump is E85 compatible. It's also pulse width modulation compatible, which is what the factory returnless Ford Explorer system uses. Um, 
So it's really, really just now it's going to uh, be installing it into the, the vehicle itself. So that's going to be part two, ladies and gentlemen, actually putting it in. All right. Thank you for putting up with me and indulging with my uh, shenanigans. And you guys have a good evening.